Welcome back to the show. Now on Saturday, we went to CMB Bank Raceway Park, where the Super Cup Stock Car Series held their second to last event for the season. Now before that 75 lap event, some of the locals took to the 5 8 mile paved oval. In the street stock 15 lap feature, Dan Henry in the 92 started on the pole position. The 99 of Jerry Alaski rides in the second spot. Brian Dare in the 28 looks to the inside of Alaski to take away the position. Riding in fourth is the 89 of Cody Barrett. Dare runs the lower groove through three and four to take second away from Alaska. With five laps completed, Henry loses his right front wheel and hits the wall. He was okay, but done for the event. Dare would pull away from Alaska and Barrett on the restart. The pair had a great battle for second. However, it appears that Barrett hits the speedy dry in turn four, where some water had been seeping through the track. He does a nice 360, but blows a tire. Dare's machine started to show signs of smoke, but he held off Jerry Alaski to take the checkers. Barrett did change his flat tire and return to action. In the four-cylinder feature, it would be a three-car breakaway from the drop of the green. The 75 of Brian Sprague started on the pole with Darren Lucas in the 81 to his outside. Although they are about dead even exiting turn two, Sprague would start to pull away from Lucas during the early laps. The 31 of Frank Barrett would challenge Lucas for second for a number of laps, but Barrett would later slow on the track and retire from the event. Up front, Brian Sprague would lead flag to flag to take the win in the four-cylinder event. Lucas held on to second, followed by Tom Peters, Brian Snyder, and Barrett. In the 75 lap Super Cup Stock Car Series event, Brian Harrison in the 15 started on the pole, but quickly lost the lead to the 16 of J.J. Pack. The white and red number 80 of Brent Nelson runs in the third spot, then works to the outside of Harrison in turn three, but can't complete the pass. Larry Berg in the 05 then begins to close on Nelson and takes over the third position going through one and two. In the early stages of the race, second through fifth remained in a tight pack with the 77 of Kevin Cromer joining the mix, and Berg eventually taking second from Harrison. As Pack encountered cars at the tail of the field, Berg began to close on the leader, even with smoke coming out of his exhaust. With 27 laps completed, the caution comes out for a spin by Harrison. Cromer was charged for the yellow and sent to the tail of the lead lap cars. And Berg went pit side and retired for the event. Pack would have a car length lead on Nelson by the time they hit the line on the restart. The second row consisted of the 18 of Jeff Zilwiger and Harvey Harrison in the red 51. Although Nelson remained within striking distance of Pack, Cromer would eventually overtake him to move into second place. Later, Nelson and Mike Seneca in the 47 would make contact on the backstretch to bring out the caution with 52 laps completed. Starting with this race, the series implemented a new restart procedure in which the drivers could choose which lane they wanted to restart in. The top three of Pack, Cromer, and Zilweger chose the inside lane. Brian Harrison, who was running fourth, decided to try the outside and moved up to the front row alongside Pack. Pack pulls away as Cromer and Harrison battle for second. In the latter stages of the race, Cromer reeled in Pack only to lose some ground during the last few laps of the race. And JJ Pack goes on to collect his second win at CNB. Well, congratulations on your win, JJ. Now you've been here before, but this time there was water on the track from uh, rain earlier. How did that affect the handling of the car? Uh, yeah, I mean, it affected a lot. We actually had to kind of bob and weave to keep from hitting it a lot because uh, you couldn't get any grip when it was like that. Okay, now when you were racing there, it looked like you were uh, to the pedal to the metal. However, when Kramer caught up to you, um, you seemed to pull ahead, like you got nervous and pulled ahead. So you weren't giving it all your all at the earlier? Uh, not really. I mean, we, we, we have to pace ourselves here because this track tears a lot of tires up. So uh, we, we usually have a strategy we work on. We try to pace ourselves a little bit, and that's what we did. And then when soon as I saw him come in the mirror, it was go time. And uh, but he stuck with me, too. I was hoping I'd walk away from him. But he's got a good car, and I'm, I'm pretty amazed by that. 
Okay, now this is your second time here and also your second win. So how do you like this track? Uh, I think we should race here every week. <laughs> no, it's a great track. I like this one in Jennerstown. Those two are great tracks. I, I love the speed. I love the, the, the size of them. So it's a, it's a great track. I do love being here. Do you guys usually race on a track this large? Uh, we race on tracks this big and we also race on tracks a lot smaller than this. Uh, uh, I guess a third mile, quarter mile. So there, there's some pretty small tracks in there, which makes it a little tough. But these are usually our biggest. So you're the points leader, and you've maintained that. Yeah, I have. Uh, and that's that's the whole goal with this. We're trying to make sure we lead the most laps. We uh, qualify on the pole, so we can keep stretching our lead with one more to go at Jennerstown. That's uh, that's what we got to do. Okay. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Following JJ Pack across the line were Kevin Cromer, Brent Nelson, Brian Harrison, and Harvey Harrison. Afterwards, we caught up with the series owner. Joe Schmaling. Okay, well you decided to test out a new restart. How did it go and could you describe that new restart? It went very well for the first time and how we decided to do that, we do not count caution laps. So under caution we lined them up in the lap that in the order in which they were running in the prior lap. When it came one to go we gave the drivers the option to start on the inside or the outside. And it was just very simply their choice, which put us back in a double file restart without it being mandatory. So I think that's the simplest way to explain it. And do you think you'll continue this then? Absolutely. It's, it's good for the fans. It's good for the racers. Uh, we had one car that we put in the back tonight, as you know, for rough driving and the new uh, choice double file restart. He gained a few positions back right at the, you know, at the start of the race, so it worked very well, especially for him. And why did you pick this track in particular to practice here, to test it? Well, we picked this racetrack because of the size of it and not the length of it, the width of it. In case there were some mistakes, we wanted to have some runoff room. Uh, we were at Midvale Speedway in Ohio last week or two weeks ago, and we wanted to do it there, but it was a real short track, and we just didn't want to tear up our race cars trying something new uh, so we just thought we'd wait to get here to uh, the CNB Raceway and see how it worked out and it worked out just fine. Okay so your series has one more uh, race left at Jennerstown. How did the season go? It's been a very good season although it started out rather wet and a little damp like it is right now but we, uh, we did rain out the first two races of the year uh, Jennerstown being one of them and they were kind enough to take a race that uh, we lost for a track that closed. Jennerstown took that race and we went there on the 19th, which you folks covered and did a wonderful job for us. And, uh, and when we left, uh, the owner came down and said, what would it take for you people to come back in September? And I said, just ask. So we're gonna go back there and finish our race. And, and we do one other interesting thing that not many other series do. When our race is over at Jennerstown, we will all go down to a local restaurant, we'll eat, and we do all of our champion trophies presentation rookie of the year everything after the race and we do that because these people come from as far east as new jersey and as far west as muncie so when the race is over they'll get whatever uh, accolades or prizes or whatever they have coming right after the race that way they don't have to travel any further well where would you have it to start with it would have to be somewhere like here and would you want to come here in january or february <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's just a matter of that's how we do it. We've done that for seven years. This is the seventh year, by the way. So, uh, and we've had growth every year, albeit small, but growth nonetheless in seven years in a row in this little series. Okay, well, we wish you the best. All right, thank you very much. Well, I'm really glad we went to CMB Bank Raceway Park since we hadn't made it there yet this season. Now, all told, we went to 24 different tracks within the state. We also went to State Line Speedway's reopening. We also took in a couple of go-kart events from which we got an overwhelming response for doing that. Mm -hmm. Now keep it here because we're going to go back to Lernerville for some more highlights from Friday night. When a catastrophic injury or illness impacts your life, we're here to help you get it back. With our personalized treatment plans, dedicated team of specialists, the most inventive technologies and a coordinated approach to recovery. This is more than just rehabilitation. This is a higher level of care. 